Beginning at verse number 11. And it says, And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance in riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the field to feed swine. And he would faint have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many high servants of my father have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy high servants. And he arose and came to the father. But when he was yet a great way off. His father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto, his, said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his, faint, on his hand and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fattest calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. I want to focus on verse number 13, where it says, And not many days after he, the younger son, gathered all together, and took his journey into a far country, and there awaited his subject in righteous living. And when he had spent all that he had, all that he had, arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. If you were to look at someone that told you today and ask them this question, neighbor, neighbor do you know, do you know what, matters most? what matters most? Ask them again if you were a neighbor, neighbor do, you know do you know what matters most? What matters most? This book we're going to talk about on today and look at this prophet son on many different angles. We'll look at it from an angle today entitled, Do You Know What Matters Most? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Father, our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you, Father, for your word that will go forth on today. Yes. Help it to do all you intend for it to do. Help it to turn somebody's life around. Help it to bring somebody out of darkness into the marvelous light. And help it to encourage someone that has been discouraged a long life journey. Yes. And Father, we'll be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yes. Bless us this day. Yes. Guide and keep us. Bless your word as we go forth. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Want to talk for a few moments on the subject. Do you know what matters most? Today, as we look into this lesson, we will see that sometimes in life, we don't always know what matters most. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God got to allow things to happen yeah. to show us and teach us what matters most. Mm -hmm. And many times when things happen, we would say that this uh, did not turn out good. I would say this didn't turn out like I thought. Say amen when you can. Yeah. Have you ever had anything not to turn out like you thought? Yeah. Well, yeah. this is what happened to the young man in our text. Things did not turn out the way he thought. And so he had to learn the hard way what matters most. And it's bad when you have to learn the hard way what matters most. It's bad when God has to show you the hard way what matters most. Say that you can. Now look at what it says in our text in Luke chapter 15, verse 11 through verse number 16. Luke 15, 11 through 16. As we continue to talk on the subject, do you know what matters most? All right, you had that, brother. Will you please read? A certain man had two sons, All right, see? Uh -huh. and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Now, this man had two sons. 
You can have two children from the same mother, the same father, and be different at night and day. Amen. 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 All right, let's read. Verse 13. Uh -huh. and not many days after that, the younger son gathered all together, took his journey to a far country, and there wasted his supper with riotous living. Read. And when they had spent all their robes of mighty famine in the land, uh -huh. and he began to be in want. Read. And he went and joined himself to the citizens of that country, and sent him into the fields to feed swine. Read. And he would fain have filled his bed with the husks of that swine, did he? Uh -huh. And no man gave unto him. Amen. Now, it's good when we can admit to ourselves after doing something that this did not turn out so good. Yeah. It's good that we can admit to ourselves after doing something this didn't turn out like I thought. Well, it's good when we can admit to ourselves after doing something this did not turn out the way I planned. Say right. it again. Amen. Because many times people will not examine themselves and say to themselves when they have messed up that this did not turn out so good. Amen. And people like that scare me. Yeah. They scare me because they want to admit to themselves yes, and nobody sir. else that they are wrong. Amen. They yeah. think they're always right about everything. Yes, and even when all the facts plainly show that they were wrong about this situation, mm -hmm. they'll try to find some way to swarm out of it yes, and not admit that they were wrong. Yes, and so people like that have to learn the hard way what matters most. Amen. Say that again. Well, this is how it was in our text today with this prodigal son. He had to learn the hard way what matters most. And sometimes young people don't really know what matters most. Amen. Amen. They see the material thing. They see the car. They see the house. They see the money. They see people. And they think that's all that matters. But that's not all that matters to life. Right. You know, the writer says in 1 Timothy 6, verse number 7, you brought nothing in this world, and if a certain you carry nothing out. So those things that you see in the world, those things don't matter. That's why the writer says in 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17, he said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Amen. And that's why some people will never change, because they still love the world. And the image to the world is more important than the relationship to God. And whenever you think like that, you don't know what matters most. Say that you can. Amen. Now, I like this young man in our text. I like him because when push comes to shove, when he was down and out, he evaluated himself and he saw what matters most. And it's good to see what matters most. Amen. But the flip side of that is, don't wait till it's too late to see what matters most. Amen. Say that again. Now, in verse 14, it says that he spent all that he had. Spent all that he had. This shows us you can always go broke doing wrong. Amen. 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 You want to go broke? Start doing wrong. Amen. 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 So it says he spent all that he had. But while he was broke, he saw what matters most. But it's bad when God has to break you for you to see what matters most. Amen. It's bad when you have to rip, you have to hit rock bottom in order to see what matters most. Amen. It's bad when you are, are, are behind bars mm. to see what matters most. Yeah. Say that to yeah. That's why when he was broke, he said, How many high servants are in my father's house that have bread enough to spend? And look at me, I'm out here home. Amen, somebody. Amen. He was saying something is wrong with this picture. Yes, Amen. Now, look what it says in Luke 15, verse 17. Luke 15, verse 17. We're still talking about, do you know what matters most? All right, you have that, brother. Please read. And when he came to himself. When he came to himself. He said. He said. How many hired Then nobody emailed him. He said. He said. He said. Then nobody sent him a postcard. He, he said. said. Yeah. Then nobody had no conversation with him. He said. It's always good. Well, you can say things to yourself. That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some 